Remember back in kindergarten when your teacher asked you, how many different ways can you make five? And you wrote like this, and then you did this one, and you did this, and you did this one. But you know, maybe you were an advanced kid, and when your teacher asked you to make five, you did something a little bit different. Maybe you did something like this. So sure, use some fractions. Maybe you said four fifths plus six fifths plus three is five. Sure. Or maybe you were boring and did five times one. Or maybe, wait, what is that? But now I'm going to ask you to make five but you can't use the number one, and you can't use the number two, and you can't use the number three, and you can't use the number four, and you can't use the number six, or seven, or eight, or nine. The only thing you can do is use the number five to make five, but you have to use it five times. So yeah, this is probably going to break your brain. <laughs> All right, here are the rules as clear as day. First, you must use the number five, and you are not allowed to use any other number. You must use it exactly five times. And you must try to get as many whole number solutions as you can. Only integers for the solution, okay? Now, just to let you know, as a whole class, we wanna see if we can do it and get the number one and the number two and three and four and five all the way to number 20. I want to see if we can get the integers one through 20. However, I'm not going to limit you just from 1 through 20 as you're getting started. If you figure out how to get 50, right, take that and put it aside because pretty soon you're going to figure out, oh wait, if I just do this one thing, I can get 48. Or if I just do this one thing, I can now get half of that, right, which is 25. Okay, then you're getting closer. So just try to get whole numbers right now. No decimal numbers and no fraction answers. And we're going to see if we can get all the integers 1 through 20. So how do you get started? First, I want you to try the four basic operations. That is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. You can have a really good start using these. So put two fives together and subtract them from another two fives. Or take three fives together and divide it by one five. Okay, That will set you on the right path. I want you to try that for a while. Here is one way that I got ten. And here is one way that I got one. If you got it a different way, more power to you. Okay, now I want you to try some other symbols you know, like decimals or fractions or percents or exponents or dollar signs. So you could do something like this or something like this or something like this. Or maybe you could combine some of those symbols. <laughs> Okay, so do your best, give it a try, and I'll see you in small groups. Hey Bob, what do you suggest? I suggest you use a calculator. You mean like this? Yeah. Oh, I keep on getting it wrong. <laughs> Don't cry, Bob. I have an idea. <gasps> use the scrap paper. The scrap paper? Yeah, in your folder, I gave you some graph paper. Okay, let me go get it. And a big shout out to my son, Ethan. And Bob. I voiced him. For voicing him. I voiced him. Thanks. Oh yeah, and Murray.